Mercenaries and Ladies were playing an adventure map called Mercenaries Revenge. And so, uh. Oh, what do we gotta do? Mercenaries Revenge by Zippy Bloom. Uh, made B single player. Okay, so I need to select. Yeah, let's go for easy for now. Let's go for tutorial. That's what that is. Right, perks and attributes. Death. Every death will remove 25 gold from your total gold. This you have less than 25. Note that shop has to go up the further into the map you go. So spending all your gold for losing it upon death may not be the best idea. Oh, come on, see. Gold nuggets are used as money. Anytime you pick up a nugget, will be automatically converted to gold currency. You can break down ingots and blocks into gold nuggets for gold. Okay. Those will be converted in refer to the gold when you enter a shop. Okay. Some items might be able to break blocks or can be placed on blocks. Please read the description examples. Okay. That can be placed on stone and that can break stone. Dang it, I can't take it. You know, I think I might actually just... Uh, Keep inventory is on. We'll give things up. Okay, that's good. That's what I was going to do. Because I want to lose my stuff. Secrets will be in chest or barrels. This will be named secret. If you collect all secrets in, the, in a chapter, you'll be awarded a gold block. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, perks and attributes. Please read the info, turn on the lever after it is placed. Okay. Let's do a lamp. Okay, perks and attributes are skills that you can upgrade with points respectively. You gain one perk and one attribute every chapter. Please spend them before leaving each time. Perks and bonuses that will, be, that will aid you in whatever way they say. If you for details, attributes are stats that can increase with a maximum of three for each stat. Page five. They help consistently regenerate grants one regeneration. We can all enemies weakness one up. To all enemies two two more attribute points grants two attribute points. Gold is worth double. The patches are worth two. <clears throat> is XP the function? because it's easier to find glowing massive arrows indicating where a secret is. That's the speed, tier 1, right, damage, place point on gold block above stat wanted. Uh, I'm going for Why am I in creative? Um, oh, but I'm in creative right now, just to... Uh, let's go for see what's easier to find. Let's go back to the tutorial because I was feeling there's some stuff there that we didn't really see. Some doors of buttons will take you to shop. Okay. Wait, okay. Every shop will have three items and a bottle of enchanting. Look at the item in the item pane to see the prize. Press the button below the item if you have enough gold. So we'll have lapis for enchanting each. Enchanting and crafting tables at Anvils will be in all shops. Anvils will be converted to gold when you enter a shop. Note that shop prices go up the further you go into the map. Okay, so so here. This is a shop. Use this button and shops to return to where you were. Okay. Some PCs can be talked to by pressing a button near them. An NPC can also be a shop. To you if you have trouble pressing the button, take a step back. Okay, 
Hello, Bio Gamer, dude. I really didn't change my name to Bio Productions. Okay, please read. Shops and Secrets. Secrets can be found in every chapter. They will be chests or barrels that have us. Uh, secrets in each chapter. Oh, there's four chapters. Four has none. This is the added. So there's one, two, three, and four chapters. Okay. Shops, uh, currency is gold nuggets. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep these. Okay, I'm invisible. Should I go for because since this is a sass, I think I should go for this one. I'm still invisible. I said, it, I said it easy. Okay, it's easy. Let's start. This is fucking cool. So tell me again who you are and why you're here. Well, I'm a mercenary. Oh, that's right. And you had some work? Correct. I was hired by Captain Roger. It's actually a pretty cool map, I love it. Oh? Here of all people needed help. That's what I thought, but the money was good, so I took the job. And what was that job? Well... Chapter 1, Hide Hand. It's actually pretty cool, I'm loving it. Oh, hello fella. Talk to the captain. I, oh, there we go. There are seven secrets in chapter one. Okay. That's really cool, I like that. So now I can hear you, shut up. Now I'm just going to take away your food since you won't shut up. Nothing beats breakfast like more fish. Great. You know, I'm just going to take all the food I can get. You see, buddy? Heard that crew members like to hide their uh, items all over the place so others don't find them. Oh, very nice. Oh, sweet. Well, up to 17 gold. Ninety now. I did that stuff here, did Sweet. More gold for me. Mm-hmm. 
Is that bud? Ah, wah, z z z z z z z. A stick. Yeah, it could be useful. Another stick. Oh, it's a honey bottle. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Wait, is this a secret? Nice. And I'm still invisible. I'm quite a lot of experience here. At the start, this is going to be a long adventure with just me going through everything. I want to find all these uh, all these um, secrets so I can get gold. The crew quarters can get a little tight when everyone's here. You know, kidding, bud. Okay, third stick. And the fourth one. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Your pirates. I don't mind if I do. I'd be a hired hand, but I'm still a mercenary and I could still steal stuff. Shame, it'd be pretty cool if it did fire stuff. Shooting cannons is really fun, but what the captain tells us not to waste cannonballs. Hey, he does seem like a smart lad. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this, uh, I'm just going to be collecting all this gold. There's a lot of this stuff. Anything down here? Nah. Well, oh, yeah, there's so much gold. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me this gold. It's my gold now. The one thing about the bear box, it gets in the way. I'm guessing these aren't attacking me yet because I'm in creative, which is probably good. If I got changed into survival soon, because it'll be pretty annoying. Being in creative is, makes sense. And survival, because I don't think they encouraged the pillagers not to attack me. Not against the game game size, because this is fucking cool so far. I'm loving it. Yeah. A 
finds it a little bit annoying is that there's only one gold in each of these chests. Two at the most. Let's see for yourself, bud. Yep, the cannons aren't loaded. Morning, biogamer. Hey, up there, lad. I think I don't think I spoke to this guy over here yet. What's this guy saying? Oh, what's oh, a shop? Welcome. Buy something. Uh, look at this. Dirty. Bit steep. Get to go upstairs now. I might like going into the crow's nest because of my fear of heights. And I hear you, mate. So the first ocean. How could we ever see it all? The jungle creeps me out. I like to stay on the ship where I know it's safe. Oh, the captain gets to steer the ship. I wish I could. But right, screw the captain. Hello, mercenary old mine. Got work for you. I believe we found the tomb of the great pirate Whitebeard. Oh, yeah. Legend says that he, he hid his hid a great treasure within with him. Maybe even a god fruit. Unenchanted. That's why I'm going to send you the best of the best and to get it for me. Don't worry, you'll be paid. I hope so. Damn. The men have already prepared the boat for you. Just follow the river. Okay. Don't disappoint me. Do I ever. Just gonna steal this food though. No, you agree with me, I can steal your food. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Map says the tomb is up is up this river. They say that if you hold a god fruit, you can hear God speak. Interesting theory. I'm gonna put Granny Pie. I'm just uh, inspecting the drinks and the bells. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I say if you eat a god fruit, you gain a special ability. Anyways, your boat is ready. Ready, good luck. Okay, we just uh, go to the other side because I saw another arrow for a secret. Oh, hello. More of you. Very nice. And another stick. That's four so far. This will be the fifth one. That's fine, we're just going to get two more, then I can get a gold block. Mm. 
It'd be cool if they can sort of like use command blocks to like make some waves appear. That'd be pretty cool as well. See what's down the cave first. Just in case, I need to go down here first. Oh, nothing. Oh, it's a gold helmet. A shield. Very nice. Look at all that got sweet, sweet gold. Solve the puzzle and enter the tomb. Okay. You know, I actually think I'm not supposed to be in creative. I'm going to go into. Survival. Okay, so what's this one do right here? What does it do? It says, uh, I think it goes gold, diamond, emerald. Okay, so gold. Oh, no, no, I get it. No, I get it. Diamond Gold Emerald Diamond Is it alright? Oh Yo that's actually pretty cool. Okay, I'm loving that. I love it. I love it when maps have like bit like anima animatics. Chapter two: White Beard. Okay. Uh, you know, I think I'll actually leave it off there, and then we'll do chapter two next time. I'm still invisible. Wait. Let's go, let's go into back into survival and creative and see if, if having a glass of milk works. I don't want to be invisible. That actually seems a bit like GT. Where are you, milk? There we are. Uh, come on, 
Okay, oh, thank goodness I discovered of the uh, the uh, the visible vis visibility. I'm going to that. I'm going to adventure. Yeah. I'm gonna grab this stuff over here. Now, what should I go for? Should I go for speed, strength, or armor? I'll go for strength this time. Build up strength first. And then perk, I'll have... Ah, uh, click all that food, it'll go to waste. Uh, I think I'll go for gold is worth double. So see you guys next time. Bye bye.